In this video, we'll be going over the five scripts necessary to create this sun-synchronous orbit scene, which demonstrates how the orbital plane of a sun-synchronous orbit processes at the same rate as a sun vector with respect to the Earth. All of the scripts in this video series will be posted in this Cosmo Demos GitHub repository, so you can follow along on your computer to run the sun-synchronous orbit scene and experiment with the scripts yourself. First things first, we'll go over the steps of how to use this repository. So the first thing we need to do is clone the repo. So if we go over here, go to code, copied, git, clone, paste. And this next part, I'm gonna switch into the branch that we're currently working in now, but you don't have to worry about this because after we're done making the video, we'll go ahead and merge this to main. So you can kind of skip this next step that I'm about to do, the git checkout. So oh, first we cd into the repo that we just cloned, and I'm just going to git checkout. But again, you won't have to worry about this. Cosmographic tutorial 003 pi spice json. Again, you don't have to worry about that. And then we go to the next part where we're gonna set the environment variables here. So as we went over in the last video, echo cosmographia, that should already be set. But now we also need to set cosmo demos. Right now it's set to nothing. So we can say export cosmo demos is going to be equal to using an absolute path, cosmo demos, and here are the scenes directory. So now if we say echo, echo cosmo demos, oh, I didn't use echo before. Echo Cosmo Demos, we're going to get this right here. And once all this is done, you can actually go ahead and run the scene. So then we can say scenes, uh, Cosmographic Tutorial 003, run sun synchronous orbits.sh. Everything will run like that. And then I have it pulled up on another screen. I'll go ahead and drag it over here. We have the scene playing. So now let's go over what each of the scripts are doing. And we'll start with the bash script, which we can see here, run sunsynchronousorbit.sh. So the Cosmographia executable accepts a few different arguments. And in our case, the first argument we pass in here is a load catalog, which will tell Cosmographia which JSON catalogs we will be using in the scene. Then we use the dash p flag to tell Cosmographia that we also want to use the Python script to control the scene sequence, and then point it to that Python script out here. So this is how we are using those environment variables we set earlier. So Cosmographia can find the scripts that we want to pass in using absolute paths. Next is a load catalog, which again tells Cosmographia which JSON catalogs we will be using. And in this scene, we need a spice catalog since we'll be loading in a spice kernel containing the sun synchronous orbit data and a spacecraft catalog so we can define our sun synchronous satellite. And note that for practically every single scene we'll ever do, we will at least have a Spice and Spacecraft catalog to load. Here we have the Spice catalog, which is very simple since we are just loading the Sun Synchronous Orbit Spice kernel, where this orbit was propagated for 50 periods with a J2 perturbation. Now we get to the Spacecraft catalog where we define our Sun Synchronous satellite. It is of class Spacecraft as opposed to other choices like Planet. We give it a name, a start time, and then state that its trajectory is centered at Earth. We're getting the trajectory data from SPICE, which is the BSP kernel that we pointed to in the SPICE catalog. The target is the ID of the spacecraft, in this case is negative 999, its center, and then its reference frame, where here J2000 is actually referring to EME2000, or the Earth-centered equatorial inertial reference frame. We provide a color for its label with RGB values and same for its plot. And then we can change the duration and fade values if we wanted the trajectory to fade over time. But in this case, we didn't want it to fade so we could show the orbit precession. And if you're wondering where that SPICE ID and the start time came from, we can get that type of information from a BSP kernel using the SPICE brief utility. So if we go to the sun synchronous orbit directory, we see here we have SSOJ2. So we can use that utility brief SSOJ2 and we get that kind of information like the SPICE ID and then the start and the end interval of the trajectory data. And finally, we get to the Python script. So Cosmographia uses Python 2.7 that comes with it. So you don't need to have Python installed and if you do, it won't use your version. So we import Cosmo scripting, which comes from Cosmographia, and then we create a Cosmo object, which contains all the commands that we'll be using. For the initial setup, we like to hide everything so that we explicitly define everything that we want in a scene and don't depend on any defaults, setting the time to what we saw was the beginning of the interval for the spacecraft. 
So then we define this body list here. So we can use that for body and body show each object in that list. And notice SSO spacecraft is what we defined in the spacecraft catalog here. We set the central object as the earth and select it, set the camera to the inertial frame where we'll show in future videos how to set it to non-inertial frames. Set the camera position and orientation and these numbers can seem pretty arbitrary but we'll show in the next video how we can get these numbers manually. Then we show all the labels which is going to show the label of the moon and the sun synchronous spacecraft and then we can actually begin the scene. So we fade in, wait a few seconds and then we show the direction vector which is a vector that points again from the earth to the sun. Wait another second, set the time rate to a thousand times the normal time. Unpause the scene, which basically begins the scene. Wait five seconds, increase the time rate. Wait five seconds, increase the time rate, and then end it. So initially, it takes a bit of time to learn what all the commands are that you can use, but Cosmographia does have a user's guide that goes through that. So we can go to scripting and scripting functions, and we'll have a link to this in the description. But you can see these are all the different options that you have for different functions that you can use within Python. So again, you basically just learn as you go. Whenever you need something, you just look it up in here, control F. So say control F, anything with a vector. So that rotate about vector, transform vector. The show direction vector right here, you can look up that command. The show direction vector, name target, shows the direction from the object with the name name to the object with the name target, which is that sun pointing vector. So here would be a good time to start experimenting with these scripts and then seeing what different functions can do. So here, instead of show direction vector earth sun, you can have it say point at the spacecraft, see what that looks like. And then instead of waiting here, maybe we can do a circle center left when the inputs are how many degrees you want to rotate. So say we want to rotate 90 degrees over six seconds. And then we can save that and run it. We can pull it up right here. And we see now that this arrow is now following the SSO spacecraft. So it's rotating as the spacecraft is going around. And if we wait a little bit, now we can see that we're doing that 90 degree rotation around the Earth. Now, in the next video, we're going to be showing how to get those values to set the initial position and orientation of the camera. And as a sneak peek, it looks like this. So once we find an orientation and position that we like, we go up here, we say file, copy state URL to clipboard. And then we have this convenient little tool called parse Cosmo URL paste that into there and then that outputs the command that we need in order to put into the Python script. So now let us know if you have any questions or comments about this video and we'll see you in the next one.